Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Individuals suffering from rheumatoid arthritis have an increased risk developing blood clots deep in the veins, a condition known as venous thromboembolism or VTE, which can prove life-threatening if clots break off and become lodged in the lungs. The research is published in the October 3rd issue of the Journal of the American Medical Association. Here is some information about rheumatoid arthritis or RA. It is an autoimmune condition, meaning it occurs when the body mistakenly attacks its own healthy tissue. It is characterized by swollen, painful joints. It is most commonly seen in middle-aged women, although it can affect anyone. Researchers from the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm compared rates of VTE among more than 45,000 individuals with RA and members of the general population who are matched with the RA patients based on sex, age, and area of residence. The investigators also looked at how hospitalizations affected VTE rates in each group. All the participants were from Sweden and were followed between 1997 and 2010. Overall, those with RA were more likely to experience a VTE than members of the general population. At the time the first RA symptoms appeared, both those with the condition and those without had similar histories of VTE. But during the first year after diagnosis of RA, those with the disease were 60% more likely to have a VTE than those without. This increased risk remained stable for a decade following the original diagnosis of RA. Being hospitalized increased the risk of VTE among those with RA, but not more than it did among members of the general population. Today's research links RA with VTE, which is important to consider, with individuals undergoing procedures that increase blood clot risk, including many surgeries, or develop other medical conditions associated with an increased risk of VTE. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.